हेलो एवरी वन आई एम प्रतीक्षा एंड वेलकम बैक टू गार्डन वाइट्स इफ यूर होम और ऑफिस इज शॉर्ट ऑन लाइट एंड इफ यू आर लुकिंग फॉर सम बेस्ट लो लाइट इंडोर प्लांट्स दैट विल थ्राइव इन लो लाइट एरिया इन योर होम एक्चुअली लो लाइट कंडीशंस आर ऑलवेज अ चैलेंज फॉर इंडोर गार्डनर बट डोंट वरी देर आर फ्यू प्लांट्स दैट हैप्पीली थ्राइव इन लो लाइट कंडीशंस एंड मोस्ट ऑफ देम आर फ्रॉम ट्रॉपिकल एरियाज वेर दे ग्रो डीप इन जंगल बिलो द ह्यूज फॉरेस्ट ट्रीज इन डेपल शेड इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट सम बेस्ट इंडोर प्लांट्स दैट विल थ्राइव हैप्पीली इन लो लाइट कंडीशन एंड ऑल्सो इजी टू टेक केयर ऑफ Before I jump into the plant list I want to clear some basic concept regarding light that we receive indoor in our home Usually south facing windows or south facing rooms with many windows get high light that we consider as bright indirect light and west or east facing windows get medium indirect light and north facing room or room with no any windows considered as low light room for more clarification about light type actually i have one image that i found on net only you can see the area next to the window or balcony it considered as bright indirect light area and after that it comes medium light area and then low light area now i guess now we are pretty clear with light types do you know friends plant also give us uh, signals or indication that they are not happy with current light conditions if we have placed them below their actual ideal light conditions in such situations plants start growing thin or leggy and in some cases uh, the plants live color also uh, changes it will turn yellow in color in such situation try to move your plant towards more light towards window or supply them with artificial lights low light plant also grow better and faster if we provide them medium indirect light we call them low light because they have potential or can i use word power to thrive in low light areas and i think they are a great options for indoor gardening some plants like snake plants will do very well in bright indirect light even direct light but will also thrive in less than ideal conditions and they are considered as low light plants i will start with zizi plant because it is really a great option for low light areas zizi plant tolerate any dark corner and love to be neglected and it is also tolerate to dry condition the zizi plant looks great too it produce upright slightly arching stems covered in shiny dark green leaves you might have seen the zizi plant in many offices in restaurants or in malls because of their less demanding nature i have kept my zizi plant in our foyer area of our home and uh, almost 15 feet away from balcony or window and uh, you can see it's really doing great one thing you have to be careful about zizi plant is watering water carefully because they are susceptible to root rot they store water in their stems and in their roots so water whenever you feel soil is dry to touch and for their fast growth for their shiny green leaves you can uh, feed them with cv liquid solution once or twice in a month so after zizi plant next plant on my list is snake plant because these two plants are most tolerant of low light areas and these snake plants are unique handsome and very forgiving in nature they can adapt to almost any place in your home or office as they are not fussy about the quality of light they receive also they are extremely drought tolerant means if you forget to water it it won't die i love their ag upright leaves with color variation which add unique architectural accent to interior and apart from that it also one of the most recommended plant to improve indoor air quality the optimal place to keep this unique and low maintenance snake plant is the bedroom because it converts carbon dioxide into oxygen at night snake plants need well draining potting mix that doesn't hold 
a lot of water like succulents like zz plants snake plants also susceptible to more watering so water them carefully like succulents and also use well draining potting mix that doesn't hold water for long time for details about uh, snake plant varieties and their potting mix and how to propagate snake plant you you can check out my video all about snake plant i will share link in the description box one basic rule about plant placement is that plants with uh, brighter colors or variations like yellow pink red uh, they need more light or more energy to develop color variations in leaves so if you place this kind of plants in darker corner they will start shading their colors and their leaf will turn into the green color for low light area always choose dark greener varieties or plants palms are popular indoor plants from many decades or they say since victoria era but only few palms do better in low light areas like parlor palm parlor palm also commonly called as chamadora elegans it is slow growing palm that grow extremely good in low light conditions it grows 4 feet tall and make a bold statement in any room parlor palm only need to be water when the soil feels dry to the touch for their lush foliage you can fertilize with seaweed liquid solution or vermicompost once or twice in a month you will get this parlor palm in various size from this table top to 3 feet height next plant on my list is fern ferns come in tons of color size varieties and they are especially ideal for low light areas and for shade gardens ferns add delicate feathery texture and tons of green to indoors all you need is dapple shade and enough moisture and humidity to encourage ferns to grow ferns flourish during the monsoon so now it's the perfect time to add this fern to your indoor garden there are numerous species and varieties available in ferns but commonly used ferns for indoor gardening are maiden ferns then bird nest fern i love this unique looking crinkly leaves which add texture to any indoor space and these ferns are especially good for uh, low light areas because they have uh, dark green colors and uh, apart from this you will find this uh, boston fern uh, this one in this you will get another color dark green color that uh, that is good for low light area about their care they are from tropical regions so they love moist humid climate weather so always keep the soil little moist water frequently and they love misting so during uh, dry season or in winter mist the leaves regularly with water Next plant is Aglonema. Aglonema is another best plant for low light condition. Aglonema commonly called as Chinese evergreen plant. They are so low maintenance plant that they can grow without water up to for 2 weeks. A beautiful addition to any home garden. Aglonema offers unique and intricate texture and color in world of greens. These elegant tropical plants feature an ample range of speckled or dappled leaves in the numerous shade of green, cream or pink. I would suggest for low light area use uh, this kind of light green or green color varieties because in Aglonema nowadays you will find many color variation in the range of pink or red but for low light area always go for green color varieties. About Aglonema care most important avoid overwatering as i told you they need very less water always check the soil before you water your plants and uh, use well drained potting mix soil that doesn't hold water and moisture for very long time and once they settle down in your home they will grow happily in this plant you can see two new babies are coming out from the mother plant so they are very less demanding plant for fertilizer you can use seaweed uh, solution for their big foliage once in a month next plant is hardy fast grower and tropical plant syngonium 
also commonly called as arrowhead plant or vine. Syngonium can tolerate a wide range of low light conditions. Its handsome green foliage with some variegation can lighten up any corner in your home. Syngonium plants are really low maintenance plants. They grow very quickly. Just keep them away from direct sunlight and use well draining potting soil rich in vermicompost or compost because they are tropical plants they need rich dense soil and water when the top of inch soil dries out that's it they don't even require regular fertilizer application syngoniums are versatile plants you can grow syngoniums in water or in soil just like money plants if you want their compact bushy look then pinch new growth regularly or if you want trailing or hanging look then just allow them to grow for more detail about syngonium pruning syngonium propagation reporting and different types of syngonium you can check out my recent video on syngonium the next and the last plant on my list is money plant money plant is probably the easiest of all indoor plants to grow you can get many varieties in money plant the trailing vine has pointed heart shaped glossy green leaves with many color options but money plant especially with this dark green color foliage will survive in any corner of your home in low light condition they are very less demanding and fast grower just keep them away from direct sunlight and use nitrogen rich fertilizer for their fast and bushy growth keep uh, pruning leggy growth and that's it and one important point for all indoor plants avoid over watering so guys this is the list of my best low light indoor plants and these plants are a bit forgiving plants and still create lush green space in your home thanks for watching see you soon till then happy gardening